Hi friends, this is Andy Dean. Yeah, and today I got the uh, pumpkin soup for you. A live pumpkin soup, and that is something super delicious and it fits right with the autumn. You know it's autumn time, it's harvest time, the heart is opening. Here you see I have a little pumpkin, just two slices. This beautiful red orange Hokkaido pumpkin has been grown in the States of America, most of them now. This one is from Europe, okay, I'm in Berlin. They have some Hokkaidos here too. But originally they come from Japan, from this island called Hokkaido. But now they're mostly in the States, because they like them so much. It's a perfect pumpkin. You can use it with the skin on, you can cook it. In a, in a fast 15 minutes it's, it's done. You have a wonderful, most delicious soup. Or you can do it nicely with your orange carrot juice here. These are maybe 15 oranges, uh, 15 carrots, medium size, and f three oranges. <coughs> I have all the juicer here. <coughs> Helps me great. You can always, always take uh, just have uh, juice from the health food shop or from ever. It doesn't matter. I mean, I like it fresh because it's more nutrient dense, and the more nutrients, the more energy, and the more I thrive. So, pumpkin and carrot orange juice. Is one nice combination to make it really a nice creamy and hearty soup. But what's missing is some essential spices because the pumpkin, well, it is nice for itself, but it also can do with a nice hearty spicing. Here, by seasoning. Here I have some dates. Probably I will use only three of these. And here I have a small lemon. Probably I'll leave some pieces out at first. I can always use some later to make refinements. And most important here, curry. This is the main spice for today. This is only just to give a background of sweet and sour, so it's nice oftentimes in cooking. But here, curry, most important. And it's a wonderful um, uh, flavor here. It's a mixture from the English. The British have introduced it. The curry is usually something in India, uh, it's, it's a dish, yeah, it's a meal with, with lentils and rice and garam masala. But here's this is uh, for the ease of it, the English put some spices together and now there is a huge flavor of curry powders. This one is from a, health, from, from a, shop, a shop around the corner. I'll tell you about it later a little bit more. I have something more to tell about this little spice, let me show. Can you see? Aha, here. It's called sweet chili flakes. Hardly to be seen now. Sweet chili flakes. Right beside there is the red pepper. This is uh, a nutty pepper, not too hot, but nutty. Hotter is the black one here. Both are wonderful, wonderful brands of pepper. Pepper is very important in the kitchen, healthy too. But it helps digest many, many things. But um, it is nice to blend the flavors of different peppers. I usually use black pepper and red pepper yeah, to make it more round and well other, other flavor, other red peppers, peppers can be can be played around with too. Just combine it with a nice rounded peppery, peppery uh, flavor. And a ginger. Ginger is important too here. It's nice with orange, nice with carrot and also nice with pumpkin. And here is um, salt. So pepper and salt to make it easy. Curry chili and ginger. So one, two, three, four, five. Pepper, different flavors. So, so let me allow me a little word, a small word uh, regarding um, the, the chili and, um, and the curry while I do my pumpkin soup. So the pumpkin goes in. Ah, one more thing. This was about that much only. You see, just one Eighth of a medium Okaido pumpkin that looks like this. Okaido pumpkin, if you don't know. I just took out with a spoon the center, just cut it half, washed it, cut it in half, pick a nice in, it cracks open, you see how nice it cracks open, and then you take with a spoon, you take it out. And you can dry it, the, the inside, you know, the kernels, very nice pumpkin seeds, oh wow, delicious, and very healthy too. So the pumpkin goes in two slices or eight, eight, 
and then here I have my dates. I take only three to start with, and from my lemon, I leave two or three small pieces in. Let's see if that is enough for the beginning. And the spices are well balanced, go all in, pepper, salt, curry, chili, and what was the fifth one? Ginger, correct. <clears throat> so now my juice, here, to um, stir a little bit, because there are different parts of the juice go down. And I need a lot of juice for this soup because it should be a runny soup. So I wait till I put in everything. I give it a little bit of a chance to work out later. And um, I tell you about the chili and the curry after blending. No, I'm not blending because I can't wait. and creamy, like a soup should be, for me at least. You want it thicker, you take more pumpkin, less juice, or thinner, more juice, less pumpkin. Very easy. So, one word to the chili and to the curry. So I have a nice chop around the corner, it's called Pot and Pepper. It's a great guy, we always talk, he's a chef too, and he makes all the spices by himself. So, I wanted to have chili today. The other day, and um, there was 10, 10 varieties of chili, and I said, "Oh, did you make them all by yourself?" I said, "Oh no, I don't touch this chili. You know, this chili I had the sweet chili flakes I showed you. You see, flakes. Where are they? They are uh, at the low, at the lowest level. And if you touch them, here are my chili flakes. And if you touch them with your hand." It's no problem. Here's the flakes. You can grind them too. But if you touch them and you, you know, do with the tongue a little testing, and you notice, mm -hmm. wow, strong, hot, but okay. Wow, it goes really deep. It comes from, from behind, you know, in the, in the soup, it comes from behind the flavor. Very nice grounding for many dishes, many of seasonings. But then he has a variety of 10, and I told him, well, I take this one, and I said, this is for seasoning everything, it's very nice. And always you say, oh, gives me such a weak, such a weak um, variety, I, I like to have something hot. And so I asked, give me something stronger too, I have to take two flavors. And then he gave me something from the middle. I was wondering, why doesn't he give me something of the strong ones? Okay, I, I didn't say, say anything, because I took it, this is the other one, from Thailand, Thai. Thai uh, chili here. <laughs> Chilies are so important in the kitchen, you see. I don't took it on my hand, take it on my hand now because you shouldn't touch it anymore. Touch it. This one is already not to be touched. But you see the color, it's very fine. It's a ground powder. Should not be touched. And don't put it in your eyes or other body parts. Yeah, it's really, really, <laughs> it won't leave you for a while. It's very hot and burning. And then he said the three upper flavors, the left on the left side, the really tough ones. He says he doesn't even take them out when um, customers are there. He only does it with no customer in the room. He gives them something in front of his, his mouth and um, his, uh, um, what's it called, things on his gloves arm and uh, something for his, for his body. You know? 
to, 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 to save it. Because the, the particles yeah, is so fine and go go everywhere, so you won't you won't you won't um, you won't have a chance of standing if you are in the room, you begin to uh achi and everything all the time, uh, immediately. So it's very hard. When you open some of the glasses, you know, I already I have to I had to begin to take my um to take my towel out and so I was already busy working on my nose and so it's it's a very tough. You have to use chili very carefully. And I had a nice conversation recently on Facebook because of chili, and I only had a quarter of a teaspoon. And for her, it was already too much because she had my, obviously had a, a, a more hot brand. So there was a lot of talk about the chili. There are lots about the curry too, but that's enough for today. I wish you a wonderful day. Enjoy greatly this wonderful, beautiful, delicious, healthy pumpkin soup. And uh, if you want to subscribe to my channel. You will have another recipe every single day.